guys, welcome to this tutorial. In the description below you can find the Destiny Mates links. Here we go. First we start with the right orthogonal view and that's a background image. This will be the outline. Okay. Now we add the sphere object. Reduce the segment to 12 and turn 90 degrees on the X axis. A scale. Now we will enter to edit mode and activate the proportional editing with the sphere core. Make a partition here with the subdivision surface modifier activated. And we cannot forget to remove the type triangle because when you divide it, give us problems. Now let's make the areas. We select it. Duplicate, turn it into a new object with a control P. A stretch, make a partition here, we select these faces and move back. Ok. Make another partition and shrink, enlarge this and then move as well. Ok. The iris is already done. Once we have done the eye, let's create the layer. We add a base cycler, enlarge it, enter the plane, rotate it and then move to the circle. Ok, we'll transfer a plane in a window with a ray modifier. This time, put 2. Select the window and then the circle. We put speed and follow path. As you can see, now with the timeline can change the lighting. But even we need to add the mission material. Increase the power to 30. Ok, looks cool. Remember that previously you have to remove the lamp. In this moment we will solve the sclera. We mark the center line like sim. Select all. Nice. And now open the image sclera core. This will serve us to locate the UV map. In edit mode with all selected, press the U key and click and grab. With the material already created, we assign the image a sclera color, so we can see how it is becoming. Adapt the map to image. OK. Rotate the rear to match the front. All this we have done with the control pressing. Now, let's to the notes editor for make the material. OK. This would be the final result. As you can see, it's really, really simple. Carefully check the names to each image. This picture relates to the effect of its node. Well, at the moment we haven't did the sclera material. Now must do the same with the areas. As we have done before with the sclera, add the new material. Ok. At this time we have to do is unwrap the iris. Nice. We'll host the iris image to serve as a reference. Let's look for it. I recommend having the picture all together in a folder. We turn to edit mode and select these three coarse lips. The central and adjacent. Ok. Now unwrap. Well, make this material is very 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 simple. Only has a few nodes. Add the displacement and the node is going to help change the hue saturation and brightness. This is very useful. Well, then this is the finished material. Here is so with the pictures this correspond to each node. Although it may seem the eye is not finished. There are some adjustments to make. Let's give the eye translucency. We select it and here in right visibility deactivate these three boxes. In the iris we'll do the same but only the shadow box. Ok. It happened that we have a problem. If we change the light position the translucency still appears from behind. Which is a mistake. So we have to duplicate the eye and make an object shadow. But only shadow remember. Add a new material. As you can see, it's the most simple. Then we go to the panel of right visibility and only leave activate shadow packs. Sometimes this must be updated for walking. Nice, now it works. Finally, we'll make the pupils select. Add two shape keys. Ok, 
third to edit both adjust using the proportional editor adjust like LSD pupils and we move the edge leaves until we have something like this ok as you can see when change this parameter the pupil are dilated plus we have to do the contraction click here and change the stat minus 0.5 well this is all really nice we already have the eye ready to use in our head that's it if you like it subscribe to my channel see you